Hello, hi everybody. What is going on, my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news video. For this video, we're going to talk about 120 farming, the farming guild, as well as the new produce coming out with the update. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Yes, this is the Illus. What you talking about, Willis? All right, guys. For starting off, we're going to be talking about the various different produce. We start off with the various different means of getting fruit through the various fruit trees and trees, etc. First off, we have mango, and I think this is pretty much uniform for all the bushes. It is at least for mango, but you yield four fruit every time. This can obviously be increased with the giant ant familiar, so I imagine those would be very useful. Probably go up in price. Same for avocado bush, you know, dragon fruit, those kinds of things. We also got the chiku tree yields a bunch of fruit etc all these are going to be very useful because each one of the fruits that you get from these various different means can be crushed up in order to make something called primal fruit pulp they say you'll be able to yield about 20 to 40 ish pulp per patch they obviously give different amounts of pulp based on the tier of the tree that you plant but they can then be converted to the primal extract one pulp makes two primal extract and that's how you're going to be able to make elder overloads and stuff like that so it's good it doesn't really matter what you're planting as long as you're planting one of these new fruits you'll be able to get your hands on the primal extract Next thing I want to talk about is the Tomb Shroom. They quickly showed it off. This is basically just large yields of shrooms that you can use to feed your zygomites. So yeah, Tomb Shroom, there you go. Pretty straightforward. Making, hopefully maintaining those animals on your farm much more easy and more manageable, obviously. Now, all these seeds from these fruits or everything we talk about in this video are going to come from a variety of sources. Those being Big Game Hunter, Elite and Master Clue Scrolls, Pickpocketing Rogues, Triskelion Keys, Hunting Jadinkos, and finally, Lost Grove Creatures. I have a couple of levels and their unlocks listed. These are not all of them, obviously, but these are what was talked about on stream. Now at level 95, you'll unlock Dragon Fruit. 99, you have the Avocado Bush. 103, you have Stink Shrooms. 105, Mango Bush. 113, Carambola Tree. 116, Golden Dragon Fruit and 119 you have the money tree the next thing i want to talk about is the harvest potion now this is the potion that when you drink it crops that you harvest from your typical allotments will become mega versions at least for the six minute duration that the potion lasts for all of these every single one will be used in making the primal feast this is the new best food in the game so it does add value to all those lower level allotment patches. Everything is tradable up until making the feast. So that's all the ingredients, all the mega versions of the crops, the various different portions that do make up the primal feast, all tradable. However, the primal feast, as well as the food you extract from it, will not be tradable. Primal Feast does also use the tier 3 dino meat that you get from Big Game Hunter, so it's important to note that as well. Moving on, I do want to talk about the money tree. As I said earlier, it requires 119 farming. Seeds for this tree will come from Bird's Nest, Crystal Chest, either from the original Crystal Chest or the one in Prifthinis. Harvesting crops and animals also gives you a chance, Triskelion Keys, as well as farming requests, which we'll talk about later in the video. Now, harvesting your money tree takes about two days to grow gives you about 90k farming xp as well as three cash bags these cash bags will guarantee you 333k and each bag has an additional up to 166k so you're looking at each yield giving you between 1 and 1.5 mil gp Next up, let's talk about the Farming Guild. They repurposed Granny Potterington's home as the new Farming Guild. Inside, you'll find the remote farming machine. This is made through obviously having the runes to cast remote farming. I don't know the exact amount, but you'll need those runes as well as 50 living components. So make sure you get those ahead of time. And then obviously upstairs, I talked about in the last video, you do have a telly to the Anachronia farm, you know, right there upstairs in the guild. In addition, they're adding a Bloodwood tree patch and a Spirit tree patch to the guild. These will be growable when you reach certain reputation, which does lead us into the reputation system. This is a new system adding to 120 farming. You can pretty much start getting reputation from the very beginning, as early as level one, presumably. And any farming related activities, such as harvesting your animals, crops, whatever may have you, has a chance to give you farming reputation. These give you a variety of different unlocks, like obviously the ability to have the blood, wind, and spirit tree patches, but also prevent disease 
and earning more from your animal selling on farms. That's just a couple of perks that you can get with the new reputation system. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is requests. This is a new system they're adding to the farming skill. Basically, every day at your farm, you're going to have three new NPCs. They will each have tasks for you, easy, medium, and hard. Easy tasks will reset every day, medium tasks will reset every three days, and hard tasks will reset once a week. They are going to request various different seeds and animals for a variety of different rewards. Now all the requests, while they won't be exactly the same for all players, they are going to be pretty similar. So most people are probably going to see a lot of the same stuff on their requests on any given day than every other player. You don't gain any XP whenever you do these requests, however you do get farming reputation. In addition to this, you also get a new item known as Brassican Primer. What it does is when you activate it, you get a 10% XP boost for checking your farming patches for the next 15 minutes. Completing easy requests has a 1 in 5 chance to get Brassigan Primer. Medium tasks guarantee you 1 and hard tasks will guarantee you 3. And that pretty much sums up all the new stuff for 120 farming right around the corner. In just a couple of days we're going to see this release so I'm really excited for it. Let me know what you guys think about anything discussed in this video down in the comments below. Love to hear your thoughts. With that I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to stay updated in all things WordScape related then hit that subscribe button. Anyways I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.